Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.55. Sri Bhagavan said, O Partha, when the living entity renounces all material desires arising from the mind, and when his mind, thus controlled, he becomes completely satisfied by the blissful personal form of his own Atma, Self. He is to be known as Stita Pragya, a person of steady intelligence. Sar Ardavarshini. Now, from this verse, beginning with Brajahati until the end of the chapter, Sri Bhagavan answers four of Arjuna's questions in sequence. Sarvan denotes one who does not have a scant of material desire. The word Manu Gatan indicates the ability to give up material desires born of a non-scriptural nature, which are opposed to the nature of the soul. If the nature of these desires were spiritual, it would not be possible to give them up, just as a fire cannot give up heat. This is because a controlled mind, after realizing the Atma, which is blissful by nature, becomes satisfied by the Atma alone. The Shrutis confirm this. Yada sarve pranu chante kama ye sya ridi stitaha atha martyo mrito bhavati atra brahma samashnute Katha Upanishad 2.3.14 When all desires are removed from the heart, the bound soul attains realization of the absolute truth and becomes immortal. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashikavriti One should also study the verse Atmani Eva Cha Santustaha Gita 3.17 The great devotee Prahlad Maharaj has given a similar instruction in Srimad Bhagavatam 7.10.9 Vimun Chati Yada Kaman Manavo Manasi Stitan Tari Eva Pundari Kaksha Bhagavadvaya Kalpati O Lotus Eyed Lord when a man gives up all the material desires situated in his heart, he becomes eligible to attain opulences equal to your own. <laughs>